We end tonight in Clarkston, Georgia, the town east of Atlanta. It's known as a safe haven for refugees. Many of its residents are from the Muslim majority countries that would be impacted by President Trump's proposed travel ban. Here again, Mark Strassman. We were a target. We didn't want to take that risk. It was a risk to stay there. For seven years, brothers Manaf and Nael Tafik were threatened with death in Iraq. Militias targeted them for working with American companies. Was coming to this country the difference between potentially life and death? It was a life and death, yes. In 2011, they applied to the U.S. as refugees. After years of vetting by Homeland Security and the State Department, in January, they immigrated here to Clarkston, Georgia, known as the Ellis Island of the South. This Clarkston is, um, uh, say, a refugee uh, welcoming place. Everyone is here from different countries. 40 different nationalities, 60 different languages spoken in our 1.4 square mile city. Ted Terry is Clarkston's mayor. Half its 8,000 residents are foreign born. These people who have fled from those conflicts are the ones who are escaping terror. We're getting people from war-torn areas, famine-induced flights, religious, sexual persecution. Clarkston's diversity spreads across its religious services, local shops, Did you learn Swahili in community the gatherings, so the access and schools. Since 9-11, there hasn't been a refugee that has committed an act of domestic terrorism. And here in Clarkston, we continue to be one of the safest cities in Georgia. To Manaf and Nael, the latest travel ban presents the greatest threat of all. That would uh, change um, the idea of America, which is a, a free country and a right country. They arrived believing in the idea of America. Clarkston gave them a chance to live it. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Clarkston, Georgia.